Hi, this is Drew Valens with Satellite Test Prep, and today we're going to look at an ACT math question that deals with trigonometry. So the ACT is different from the SAT in that it goes a little bit further into trigonometry, but the trigonometry is not that difficult. In fact, all you really need to know is so ka toa, which we'll go over, and a few other short concepts. Let's take a look. The hiking path to the top of a mountain makes, at the steepest place, an angle of 20 degrees with the horizontal, and it maintains this constant slope for 500 meters, as illustrated below. Which of the following is the closest approximation to the change in elevation in meters over this 500 meter section? The first thing I want you to recognize about this question is that there are a lot of words. Most students will take a look at this question and think it's very difficult and freak out or skip it. But if we just stick to our first principle and underline the key words, we can realize that it's quite simple. So there's a path, and the angle is 20 degrees, and it maintains this slope for 500 meters, as indicated here. Which of the following is the closest approximation to the change in elevation, which is what we want, which is this? How high does it get over this 500 meter section? So really, all we have is a triangle question using SOKOTOA. Now, if you want to take this question, your, try this question on your own, press pause now. So SOKOTOA, S sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, cosine equals adjacent over tangent, uh, adjacent over hypotenuse, whoops, and tangent equals opposite over adjacent. So, as long as you know that, we can see that the sine of 20 degrees equals, remember, S equals OH, so opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite is the side across from the angle, so that's the question mark. We'll call that X. And the hypotenuse is 500. Now, they give us sine of 20 right here. Sine of 20 is equal to 0.34. So I'm going to bring this over here, and I'm going to say 0.34, which is sine of 20, is equal to x over 500. And now we solve for x. x equals 500 times 0.34 and we calculate that on our calculators 500 times 0.34 and we get 170 that is the length of this and one other note on the ACT just as on the SAT if it does not say that it is not drawn to scale then you can assume that the picture is drawn to scale so if this length is 500 meters, visually it makes sense that this is about 170. It could not possibly be 470, nor could it possibly be 20. And mostly it could not be 250, because that would mean that this length was half of the 500, and it is clearly less than half. So our answer is between 170 and 180. And I just showed you how to get that. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below.